Hello and welcome. I'm so glad you're here in the Imprint. This is Crusader Kings 3. We're playing some Crusader Kings Iranian Intermezzo. And we've just restored the Empire of Persia. We're playing live over on Twitch right now. This is what you're seeing. So if you want to come join, come join. Come join. Mondays and Saturdays, it's Crusader Kings 3 day. So, what do we have here? What are we doing? What are we dealing with? What happened? We're still kind of working on getting people to rise against us, sort of. But let's get some... Let's get some... Ransoms paid. And we're looking to deal with these folks over there. Because at this very point in time, we're actually pretty darn powerful all on our own. Uh, this is in no part, no small part to having just taken Constantinople from the Byzantine Empire, uh, which will now crumble into dust. We are slowly approaching a point where we could even face off against the HRE, but not quite yet. The Khazars are much less of a threat. They're actually fairly weak at this very point. Let's see. Let's have a little look here. What could we... What could we... What could we realistically do here? I mean, we do... So, what's that? Who's fighting here? That's Georgia fighting... War against the tyranny? Okay, that that is... Eh, that doesn't matter too much to us. There's something going on. Let's have a little... Let, let, let's go shop around. Let's go shop around. Find the things that we can and should do out here. Good evening, Sir Hakim. Thank you so much for the joining. <laughs> and the beastie cutie emoticons in Sha. So, what can we do with this guy? Because he's really the next big thing. Now that we are an empire, I mean... All of his lands are de jour ours anyway. So we can take whatever we want, really, from him. At a cost, of course, but let's have a little look. So that's six, six counties. That's not so many. So obviously we want to take a big chunk out of them. We take this. I mean, I think we're just going to go do it. Like... They are currently very weak and we are very strong. So ideally, we leverage our being very strong against their being very weak. Huh? Makes sense? Betcha it does. So uh, this area might not be the most valuable or whatever, but it is directly tied to our existing extent. So I think we're just going to go... Declare that war. And I mean, look at our prestige. We got we got bunches. Which surprises me a little bit. Because we recently affected a change in our culture. Which costs us a good amount of stuff. Let's check that out. Yeah, we're working towards getting ourselves some shield maidens. Because we're very unequal in how we deal with the woman folk. Out here in the Persian Empire. Alright, let's go. Do we have a flag right there? We do. Raise all here. And look at our income. 36 gold. You love to see it. And we're no longer ill. All the good things are coming to us here. Including possibly, finally... Oh. Too weak to send an ultimatum. I... You might be wondering, why am I waiting... For my enemies to attack me from within. Like, why Why do I want them to attack me? Well, it's, it's quite simple. I just really, really, really would like to get this over with. I would like to do some title revocations without being seen as a brutal, horrible ruler. So right now I'm gonna take all the armies that aren't actively sieging and set them elsewhere. Schema was discovered. I don't care one bit. So let's spread. Ah, no, nope. we can't spread there. Can't spread there. We'll just walk back and these guys. 
Nope, we can't go there because we don't have a direct link. We could go here. So what I'm looking for is that we don't get this red skull. Because we don't have anything bordering this directly. We have this hard border with the mountain here, which we can't go around. Like you can see it, it's, it's this thick, dark line here. So we can't go here without losing troops. We can go here, however. So that's what we're going to do. And this army here has our siege engine. So we're going to try and give them some siege mass. It doesn't have to be a good one. Just any one because our good one is in this army. Just to speed it up a little bit. But I try to keep my troops together. Even though our enemy is very weak. You never know who they might bring into a knife fight. That we started carrying a big ass cannon. So let's see. If someone is killed by us, popular with the people. Gives us dread. It's an act of tyranny. Potentially. Nevertheless, the law is on our side. It sees him. Uh, as I have a fair reason, no one will think me a tyrant. Okay, I'm just going to take this option. I don't even... I mean, locals are infuriated. It's not great. What place is this? Holder. I'm not the holder. So I don't care. Immediately, I don't care. Let's go. Let's get this done and over with. So these troops I'm just leaving kind of in between both of our armies. So they can immediately reinforce wherever they're going to be needed. Let's see. Hamam Havok. Uh, yeah, we'll denounce someone. Then that's fine by me. I don't care so much. Let's hold court. Always important. If you have one... Hold it. Otherwise, it's going to fall over. Let's see. What do you want? Addressing the corruption. My steward can... Have... I can give you some gold to solve the problem. Yeah. Let's throw gold at a corruption issue. We can give him one of our courtiers. And I wanted to only click on Akbar, but I took the option accidentally. <laughs> Alright. Alright, okay. Indirect espionage. I learned that some fascinating about several blah 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 would we'll be happy to share you. Rumor monger out of my court. I will not have any rumor mongers. Go away. S someone is again a worthless fop doodle. I still don't quite know what a fop doodle is, but I'm getting the idea that it might be something very bad. Given how these people keep bringing that up as an insult, as an apparent insult. So we're going to go with bold words and request a little, a little duel here. So we're done. Nothing bad happened to us. Let's see. Do you work or we'll have you flogged? <laughs> Burden of tax farming. I'll just calm down. We can have a look at it together. We're going to go with this because 90% chance Danush becomes our friend. His learning increases, his stewardship increases, and he loses some stress. There's only 10% chance of this going badly. So... And he gained new focus, so it worked out in our favor. And he's now our friend, and he's doing much better as a tax collector. Good work, Danush. Uh, give it to the mosque. He cannot object. Sure. Always give money to the mosque in this option there. Should we promote the Persian scriptures? I still don't want to anger the Abbasid Empire because, quite honestly, they are an, a peer. Not near peer, they are a peer. Okay, so we got this conquered. Now we can go siege this thing here without a penalty because we have a border of our own control right next to that. Bahar, may you grow strong and wise. And we see some enemy movement south here. They don't seem to know exactly what they should be doing. So they're kind of wobbling about, abandoning sieges, running in circles. All fine by me. Do I buy you a better translation? I mean, we have the money. Look at our income. Even with all of our armies raised, we are doing fairly well. Now we're going to pull this army close in. 
So they remain kind of between the two armies and can immediately support wherever support might be needed. Keep in mind, right now we are a steward, so that's why we're earning so mad money. Our next ruler is unlikely to be a steward of a similar caliber, so that's going to be an issue. Remember to do your studies. Uh, do we want tight knit, close family opinion plus 25? Uh, plus 15 for 25 years. I mean, we'll take that. Costs us only three stress. Like it's, a, it's a very small price to pay for something this good. Okay, and we get it immediately again. Fine. Uh, right, so we switched over to the learning lifestyle. Because we're old now. And we would like to make sure that we can increase our health here. And we want to go for Iron Constitution. Which gives us a massive boost for health in terms of disease resistance down here is healthy eventually. So we're going to try and unlock this whole tree while we're still alive. And can carry the orb of responsibility upon our royal head. Be cautious, do not more than what is necessary. Only a miracle can save you. Well, time for drastic measure then. There's a chance the cancer might be cured. And it is disastrous mistreatment. Uh, so our daughter is neither cured of cancer. Nor is she helped in any way. She is now disfigured and wounded. So do we imprison our court physician or do we just chastise them? Let's be honest. We have a bunch of children. And this one isn't even married to anyone. So we're just going to be tut -tut 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 tutting him. Uh, her and make sure that... I mean, we all knew the risks. You are forgiven. But th this will also not happen again. Understand? Do it again and uh, we are in truly deep waters here. So what is our enemy doing? They are dealing with a multitude of outside attackers. And thus, Habzia, our little daughter, dies. Which stresses us. Understandably, to a point. It stresses us and it is understandable. It's not to a point understandable. Just not, not saying that. It's just what life... That's life, basically, is what I'm saying. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so we're going to pull this army full on back into our own lands because they are now starting to die due to attrition. Or rather, bad supply situation. And we definitely want to avoid that. Actually, we might have to pull all our armies back in. Just to resupply before we push in further into enemy territory there. Oh, we just died. That was a little bit unceremonious. We have lost the patronage of the Mujahideen of Al Haditha. I throw away my covers the moment I feel something brush against my leg, but the swift mirror, okay, we were killed. At 57. We were murdered by an unknown assassin. Alright. Our rulers do not live long down here. Shanshah Muhammad of the Bavandid Empire has left the transient house. At the call of the true one, at 57 years of age, he died under mysterious circumstances. One of the best fighters of his age he was unrivaled in hand to hand combat. Shah Hanshah Vishtap ascends the throne, a formidable duelist. Many expect of him to excel in tournaments and personal combat alike. So he ruled for 24 years, and we are now continuing as our son. Let us pause real quick. Let us pause. Let's make sure everything is fine and everything is right. So the first thing that's not fine and right is that we have way, way, way too many holdings. Uh, so that is, of course, an immediate concern. Also, look at this. We, we will fix this in a moment. Very first thing. Uh, let's take care of our council. So this has been reset now. Our chancellor needs to be someone who's good. And ideally, also, let's throw in a strong vassal because he's decent at it. So that's fine. Fix that. 
Now let's find someone who's a strong vassal potentially, but look at how far we have to look for a strong vassal who's good at this. Absolutely horrendous. So we're going to take whoever is best. And that is our little Abbas Adi. Let's give him a wife. Not our cousin, not our half-sister. No, no, no. These are more important. Let's give him someone. Like this lady here. That's fine. Uh, now we need a spy master. And we could put in... Uh, I mean, let's put in her. I'm waiting for her to go on the rampage against us, but... She's a decent spy mission. She's going to hate us or she is hating us. So that's a bit of an issue. But uh, we're just going to try and sway that and get that done with. Okay, so taxpayers. Now, you can see all these taxpayers. They, none of these have anyone ex assigned. I think our best one is this guy, Danush. But I think all of these are pretty darn good. So it doesn't really matter. We're just going to throw them all in. Uh, the Zakat one, I think, gives the greatest taxes. So... We're going to give this taxpayer thing the ones that give the most. So we just go from top to bottom, basically, until no one can go in there anymore. He gets the most, biggest, bestest, strongest here. So that's that. He can only have 12. And now we keep going, basically. And now we have to be a little bit careful because this doesn't... Like, we need to go where it says unassigned, basically. And just throw them in here until we're done. Uh, I bet there's a better way to to assign these. Like there, there must be something to consider. So that'll immediately put a dent in what we're losing right now, but not much. We still have to make sure that we lose our our too many holdings. So let's see who's our what 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 children do we have? Okay, we have a lot of children, and we can have another wife. So let's first get another wife to maybe see if we can't get a nice little alliance power outside here. So the uh, Gujar kingdom, nah. I mean, it's the strongest we can get right now. So we're just going to go with that. Just take that in. Next, uh, we're going to go assure that we have an alliance with these guys again. So we're going to go arrange a marriage, maybe with our sister. Uh, that's not them. There we go. That's fine. So we're going to go... Even matrilineally accepted. Very good. So we get this alliance back, which is super important for us to be a dangerous, scary opposition down here in our lands. Good evening, Asokatano. So lovely for you to join. So glad you're here. We just died. So we're doing the succession thing. Uh, let's go through our lands and see who we can negotiate an alliance with inside. And then we're going to take care of all those titles that we have lying around. But I don't think there is all that many people that are willing to negotiate an alliance with us. Some will. So that's good. Some do. Some will. Okay, this one's probably a child, so they can't. And we get the good music while we do this. More children. You just died. Uh, well, we were killed, to be quite honest. We were killed. But it's not looking so bad. <laughs> right, let's see what we should give up. In terms of our holdings. So everything that just says like 25 people. that That's that's an immediately... An immediate give it up thing. So what does this belong to? To this duchy that doesn't exist. And it's a free duchy. So we're gonna go ahead. And check... Is anyone in line to succeed this? No. So we're just gonna throw all this at our ear. Assassin, but can you find out who it was later on? Um, so we're gonna go with war uh, to war with people. Okay. Right. So we're already at war. We're fighting our eastern neighbor. 
Yeah, we could search for secrets and potentially we could find the one who holds the secret to our father's death. And then we might be able to avenge them. But let's quickly uh, get our kid situated here. The Bijab Kingdom. I mean, I don't, I don't care. Uh, let's give him someone who's quick and gives us a decent... Ooh. Is our boy a giant? Oh, he's a giant. That's great. Uh, I don't know why he has intrigue education focus. But we switch it over to Marshall. Because giant is great for Marshall. He gets prowess plus six. The health penalty is a bit of an issue. Sure. But the prowess plus six. I mean, you, you have to... You kind of... If, if you don't go into... Martial education focus, that's that's on you. Like that's a that's a big issue. <laughs> uh, let's put him toward diligent if we might, and then also try and get him to have a education that is directed by us personally. All right. So I wanted to give this land now. I I'm pause real quick. You got the Bavendid Empire. I stand before my vassals, just my new crown. We we have lost the we have lost the orb. We have exchanged it for a smaller orb. It's maybe it was the orb. Maybe they hid the dagger or or a scorpion in the orb. Maybe this is a new security measure, so we're no longer susceptible to death by orb scorpion. Long live the Shahanshah, which I think that's how it's pronounced. Excellent. My nose is itching. My god. Why is my nose itching? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. We're, 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 we're not done yet here. So this kid is betrothed now. Marvelous news, marvelous news from all across the lands. Uh, we cannot uh, put him towards diligent. Good stuff. Let's make sure that we are educating him. Who is it? We are educating him? Okay, that's fine. You should marry your daughters of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ahsoka. Give me a moment. Why is my guy topless? That wasn't my guy. That was another guy that we were marrying someone to. That my my guy ain't topless. My guy is looking all snazzy. So we're gonna give him this. And we're gonna give him as much as we can, but we're gonna be a little bit careful about it. So first thing is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna give him this. We're gonna get us our alliance negotiated. Next up is we're gonna create this uh, this duchy here. Next up is we're gonna give him this duchy in a second. Marvelous news. Now we're gonna give him this duchy. Only recently, oh god, everything is recently created. Shut no, uh, Shadam of Baghdad, definitely not this. This we give him. Alright. Next up, we have to give up four more positions. So, all these here, all these border things, all of these he gets, if we can give him to that. Because they will revert to us back later. So, all these he gets. And that puts us back into a positive, which will also help us with the money in a moment. Do the breeding of your courtiers. Yes, I will breed the courtiers in a second. The 83 one is not good now. <laughs> it sure isn't. So we kept the most re relevant ones because, I mean, these are really low right now. They look really low, but they're going to pump up in a second once all this... Uh, all this nonsense here with the main limit is resolved. So they're going to go up in a second. Let's give the game a second here to understand things are happening and changing. And let's go ahead and... Okay, th there are a lot of things to do. So first we're going to marry off all of our kids here. So let's try and find some matrilineal good matches maybe. That are also kind of good. We could really... Drive this home, but I'd rather have some... What is this? Is this internal? Yeah, okay. His wife is topless. <laughs> Are you already in an alliance with me? I do believe he is. So we don't need to marry to him. It's an internal thing. Doesn't matter. This one here is an external lad. 
But is he someone we are going to try and want to eat up? My god, I... There's so many things around here. So what... What is this? Where... Where is this? Okay, it's not anywhere near where we want to go. As far as I can tell. Like, I had this trick recently where you could... Okay, if you hold down CTRL and double click. Or just CTRL. Just CTRL and click. Then, then you jump to where it is, so... Okay, we can be allied with that. But I don't think that matters much. So let's be allied with that. He doesn't have anyone with any good traits, sadly. So we're just going to take whatever. The guy that's trusting here. And it's matrilineal. So very good. So that's one daughter gone. Uh, let's get another daughter gone. Another matrilineal match. Alliance power. We already got these guys. This is really good. But they are our own people already. But they do not have an alliance with us. Oh, wait. No, what? The Hafasid Emirate. They are independent people here. Oh no, that's what they're. Okay, uh, uh. right, let's try. Let's try and find these. It's not working anymore. Okay, it's two clicks basically. First click opens this. Second click goes you, moves you to where, goes you to where you is. Mhm. Mm Mm -hmm. So he's an internal uh, vassal of ours, so he's not someone we can call into war. But we cannot negotiate an alliance with him, because uh, none of this is true. <laughs> We're not gonna go through how all of this is untrue. We're just gonna get this by marriage, because look at that. They have really, really good traits, and we're gonna prefer the robust one. Uh, there's a chance of inbreeding, but you know... Where isn't? We have discussed this. We all come from Adam and Eve. She is gout written at the age of nine. That, children, is what happens if you only ever eat sweets. And never your potatoes and your fries. Uh, your potatoes and your vegetables. And, and, your, and, your, and your fruits and all that. That's how that goes. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Boy, alliance power... So this lady here has been on our on our neck for forever. So let's get this internal lines going. He is 5, she's 13. I think that's acceptable. That is acceptable. Let's go there. Just so we got this this little problem, this internal issue resolved. So we have another daughter here. Let's go give her diplomacy focus and let's find you someone good. So the Gujar Kingdom, I think we already are in an alliance. Ah, it doesn't matter. Okay, she doesn't get she doesn't get matrilineal. She just gets sold for for alliance power. That's all. Okay. So we have some more children here. This one, another daughter. Let's throw her at intrigue and give her someone matrilineal then. Because obviously if we want to have someone that we can use later for intrigue, that is sensible for us. Our uncle and chancellor who also... No, they have an alliance with us. Doesn't matter. This one has a lot of alliances, but none with us. He is a direct vassal. You can tell by how the golden line goes directly to us. And he isn't all that weak either. Uh, let's see if we can't find something a little bit more interesting. So this guy hates our guts. And we can't get an alliance otherwise. So we're just going to go this way. And he's old. So that's fine. Let's look for younger people. Okay, let's see. I think we have one daughter left. That one... We'll go Diplomacy because she has all these lovely traits here. And... Oh! Ah, we should have put someone to Marshall. Okay, let's... Let's get age difference 5. So you have someone younger. And we go by Alliance Power still. So our nephew that is likely within our realm. It sure is. And we do have an alliance with them. So I don't care about it. <laughs> Sorry. So that one is outside the realm. That we already have an alliance with them, doesn't matter. 
inside the realm. No, nope, inside the realm of the dude we're just attacking right now. That might actually... Oh, that is exactly the place we're coming for. So getting this alliance might help us because he's going to be in our realm in a moment anyway. So we're just going to go for that. All right, so... We have, we have the Breed Your Courtiers thing redeemed, so let's check that out. Since we're looking at pairing off people at the moment, let's get, let's get that going as well. Wait a moment, we can get plus three stewardship from a Cardi based on his aptitude? Do we have someone who's good? No. Okay, <laughs> doesn't matter. Alright, okay, I'm worried. So guest, 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 we're gonna ignore all the guests. And start with just our people. So she's old, doesn't matter. This is uh, a wife of our father. This is another wife of our father. But wait. Can't we marry these? Find spouse. Let's see. Alliance power doesn't, doesn't play into it. So we're just going to get us some good soldiers through our mothers. Let's make it matrilineal. And we're going to bring in some of these Bedouin soldiers. Can we get someone a little bit younger, maybe? Oh, wait. Got to turn this off. And 43 is good enough for me. Let's bring him into court. And let's get you a marriage arranged. Our lunatic grand alama. Good stuff. Now we want we want more wait. A fine spouse, not arranged marriage. We want people from outside as well. Matrilineal. So this guy here. Let's bring him in. Okay, let's keep checking. What are you? Half sister. That means alliance. Can we get you something matrilineally? How old are you? 15? Prime of your life, huh? Let's get another Abbasid. Just in case someone dies. So Abbasid is firmly in there. And it's another Abbasid matrilineal one. So it's even better. Let's see. You are what? A nephew? What can we get from you, Alliance power-wise? Little hunchback girl, 53. Okay, we can't get anything through him. <laughs> so we're gonna get someone who's well and learned, but maybe... with a little less of an age difference. Go for traits. Fine. Inheritable. We're gonna go with one who is not actually related to us, and we're gonna take the robust ones. We want people who live long. Who live long and prosper. Okay, our half brother, another half brother. And just gonna go with some of all skills, maybe. And we'll take the intelligent one. Just for skill purposes. Daughter, we already took care of that. That's just a random courtier. Needs to be matrilineal because that looks like a girl. I think it is. Not quite sure, I must say. Um, can get Amazonian. Oh yeah, that's one of our bloodline here. Okay, let's see. You are a little bit old. Let's turn this off again. Doesn't really matter. Inheritable traits at this point doesn't matter. So we're just gonna go for who's best. And we're gonna take us... This guy. Because the other ones up there we already got. Elsewhere. But the game hasn't updated yet because we haven't unpaused since we started this, so I can't go for all these. Uh, we already got a diplomat, and it's a strong vassal too, so right now 
I'm I'm really looking only for soldiers mainly. Good evening, Captain Burr. So nice to have you back. Welcome. Glad you're here. Hope you guys are doing well. Hey, um, a courtier. We haven't done anything with her. Matrilineal. Inheritable traits. Inheritable traits. Inheritable. Let's see. Okay, you want to, to get someone who's a diplomat. Let's just get the guy who's a genius, huh? Let's let's pull the geniuses from outside the realm into ours. What the heck are you? My son and ward. Have, okay, let me unpause for a moment so we can get all these in. Wait. Okay, before we do more of that, let's set our lifestyle focus. Oh my god, there's so much going on here. Learning is where we're at. I mean, we're not great in learning, so it doesn't really matter what, what we pick. We can't go anywhere. So we're a good diplomat or we're a good learning. Medicine or scholarship? I think scholar. Let's go for scholar. We really need to push some innovations here. So we're going to get scholar. Development growth plus 15%, which is what we're working on all the time. Anyway, plus learning. Big medicine focus with small health boost. Doesn't matter yet. But this guy... This guy is 30-something and he has unlocked nothing here. Like, he is... Um, that's worrisome. He has 100 out of 1,000. Like, he's, he's accomplished nothing. This guy is 31. He's worse than me as a, uh, as a Twitch streamer. <laughs> you could do pilgrimages. I sure could. Unlock stuff faster. Um, some stuff, po possibly. Okay, let me check this. This looks okay, but I have a feeling we got something here. Lock of hair. No, that's fine. Everything is fine here. Let's check this real quick. A feline hunter. Yes! We get a pet cat. Chat, get ready. Cat name time. I'm not going to hold court just now. We have to finish the breeding of the courtiers. The annual breeding of the courtiers continues. But chat, think about... Use your... Big brains there. Think about a name for our cat. Do it. Do it for glory. And now let's check through here again. Let's unpause again so we get some more excellence. Okay, there's the cat name coming in. You can search for unmarried. Can I? Because I think I cannot. Marital status... Unmarried. Oh god, I can. Ah. Uh, yeah. I feel like I tried this before and it wasn't there. And I just kind of gave up on it. But also this looks wrong. Yeah. Because these are not actually... Okay, these are guess. Wait. <laughs> This is the same spouse. Why okay. Okay, they also give you betrothed ones. It's still a little bit better than nothing, to be honest. But I think we have to unpause some more. Like, we have to get the game going. Cat name, chat. Come on now. If you can't come up with one, we're gonna make a vote for Might Shadow or Spooky. That's how it's gonna go. Let me bring up the... Might, Shadow, or Spooky. We're gonna do a pull. New pull. What's our cat's name? Okay, Smoke. Okay, chat decides Smoke. So, Smoke. There we go. What a great name, I agree. Thank you. Okay, let me... Let's 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 wait for all these to roll in. There's still so many out here. Like, you can see the list going shorter as they come in here. Look at all this. Okay, I think we got it now. Demand artifact. <laughs> uh... No. 
Okay, at least it says now what he wants. It used to not. It always really got me going. Okay, let me uh, let me get back into this. Not the guests. We don't give in half a darn about guests. So betrothed, betrothed, betrothed. Doesn't matter. Is, is there something for betrothed? I don't think so. Betrothed, 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 betrothed. Ah, there we go. Okay, he's kind of old, so let's get him a young wife. Oh, our cousin. Let's make it matrilineal. If it's if it's one of our family. Question is, where is she? Located in Osurana. Where's that? That is not where we want it to be. Okay, it doesn't need to be matrilineal. Let's bring our cousin back here. Danush! My tax official! How do you not have this? Uh, let's give him some of his good stewardship. But also young enough to have a child still. Okay. Chance of children low. That is too low for me. Danush deserves better. Medium. He gets a medium wife. Betrothed. 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 What are you, a claim knight? Uh, have her medium chance. And what are you? I, th I think it's a girl. Let's give her a marshal. We want shield maidens. We want shield maidens eventually. Okay, so what do we give you? Uh, not our cousin. Ah, you know what? I mean, she is hale. Our cousin is intelligent. Let's go with that. Our sister is betrothed. Our courtier is not betrothed. Let's see. Let's get some military lasses in here. How old is he? Eight. Okay, let's go a little bit closer in age difference. Uh, let's go with this one. Doesn't really matter. Niece, uh, there's so many, but at least we're almost done. <laughs> at least we almost got it done. There's so many. I wish they were a little bit better at finding themselves people, you know? I think we're gonna go with one of the robusts. Maybe the one that has a claim somewhere. Uh, oh, we should have done matrilineal for that one. Ah, well. Didn't see it. There, he gets this. It's internal, but it's a lot of good traits, so it's fine. A half sister. Oh, mother? Mother, are you unwell? Are you unmarried? Let's take care of this. Doesn't matter, like, literally doesn't matter. Let's get another knight in here. Uh, matrilineal because they need to stay in court. Let's get this guy. Uh. Let's get another strong soldier type. Hey, let's just get her in here. I mean, she has been on top of the list for a while. Our brother. Oh, oh brother. What should I get? Can we get something alliance? Powerishes. Kashmir. I mean, that trait he brings, so... Might as well get a little alliance out of it. <sighs> the dishonorable antagonist. Okay, he has literally no choices, so he's just gonna get this girl. We're running out of options here. Another wife of our father. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. And matrilineal, we're bringing in another knight. This guy here will do. Oh, God. How does our half-brother not have anyone? Okay. Let's see. Let's give him the young pretty one. 
Oh, half sister needs someone. Hmm. Matrilineal for sure. And now we just try and find another good knight. I mean, he's quick. We'll just get him. Uh, niece. Matrilineal. And we're gonna get this guy in there. Chance of inbred, but there's a good of options. Uh, good of good amount of options. So we're gonna go with that. This guy, our lunatic boy. Let's see. Just anyone really. She is in very good health. She might survive the lunatic. <laughs> so here we have a peasant leader. Let's give him someone intelligent. He was smart enough to lead some peasants against us. Might as well have an intelligent wife. Our sister. She's betrothed. All good. Last guy. Last guy. And the thing doesn't trick. Okay. We have literally one choice for him. So that's the choice he gets. That's how it goes. Okay. Whew. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take a sip of water over this one. That takes way, 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 way too long at this point. Let's check out all those factions as we unpause. Okay, none of these are really a problem as far as I can tell. Uh, as they all roll in. Oh wait, we're in a war. Wait just a moment. We're in a war. We should we should take care of that war. Okay, so we are still taking on supplies, so all is fine here. Let's make sure our guy is doing this. He is very good. Oh dearie me. Our enemy is facing a little rebellion. Let's pull these guys back. To somewhere they can they can resupply. So here. And then we're gonna go back in. Gonna go out and in. In and out. Let's have that betrothal. And we are fully on marriage. So what the innovations do we got? Good question. Good question. Where are we at? We're working on household soldiers, and it's just six years away. So we can have size of men and arms regiments plus three. And an extra number. Which might just go into more siege once we have mangonels, but we'll see. So we're working hard on everything. Uh, we've got unstationed troops that we need to take care of once they are stood down. Right now they cannot be stationed nowhere. You want this? Go away. Point a tax collector. Oh no, one of our tax collector died. Good aptitude, good aptitude. These two... Danush is definitely in. This guy is not a tax collector, our brother-in-law. Very good. We just brought him in, I think. He was one of the ones that we got through getting all these ladies in here. And he's actually really, really, really good. He's bringing in a lot of money. Okay. So these guys are slowly starving, but now they're resupplying. Everyone gets a commander. Everyone does. Except you guys get a different command. You get one who has a siege expertise. There, this guy. And you guys can have the one that has a 40. Okay, almost fully resupplied. And then we go back in and siege more. Let's go. All right, okay. Got these guys going and we'll send them here, I think. Court Grandia level goes down. Unacceptable. Prisoners can be ransomed. 30 for 30, we'll take it. And 10 out of 10, we'll take that too. I mean, we're losing money. That is not quite okay. Not quite okay. 
So this should be fine again as well. Yep, we are back to full power. Now, can we build something anywhere here? Don't believe we can. Very well, he can join my court. Uh, this guy? I mean, he's an okay knight. That's, let's get him in. Let's get him in here. Right, I wanted to seize the title of that of that temple here, I think. House of Wisdom. Holding taxes plus 20%. Development growth plus 20%. Development growth plus 0 0.3. Learning level per level of fame. Month arena. I mean, this is real good, <laughs> I tell you. When I need it, I expect it to be here. Uh, yeah, let's let's get the weak hook. Or we can get closer to forming a friendship. And since we know friendship is magic, just gonna go with that. I don't need a hook on him. So what can we build here and when? We need burrs. All of these, I think, are locked by the burrs innovation. So maybe we go for burrs innovation so we can build that next. Once we're done with the regimental thing. Okay. Friends and foes. I'm just checking if I can negotiate an alliance with some of these. Because why wouldn't we if we can? <laughs> you know, just weaken these fools. Nope, nothing to be done there. So sieges are back up. We're making good headway here. The enemy has still not shown his face in this war. Ah, there they come. Very. Oh. But why would that be such a big problem? Let's pull these guys in. We pull everyone in. Where are we? Drylands. Let's put this guy in. For sure better. I don't know why that was a death sentence just now. I'm gonna leave this up. It's fine. Like, we're winning as we are. We don't even need to pull in our support. We're just gonna do it because they are slow on their siege anyway. Might as well... Okay, no, they're actually losing. And we might not reach them in time. Might have been a bad choice. We'll see in a second. Yeah, it was a bad choice. Can I see the other battle, please? Thank you. Okay, we're losing the second battle too. Just because I'm unwilling to abandon the siege there. We're losing the whole war over, over my stubbornness right now. <laughs> okay, that's that's sad. Our cat brings us some gold as a consolation prize here. Oh no 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 wait. It's slowly being turned around. In the at the very last second it's turned around. That should never have been this close. Never. Horrifying. And for what? For nothing. <laughs> don't do what I do. Just don't. It's not worth it. Let's pull these guys together. We lost so many troops there for no good reason. Yeah, we should hold court now. First time holding court now with new ruler. What's his name even? Vishtasp. I will not tolerate adulterers in my court. Is there no proof? No proof? I do nothing. By Allah, he must be stopped. Our question, Amir Bugra. 
Malice is not a crime in itself. It surely isn't. Thanks, I'll add it to my collection. We get a mysterious book. Written a mysterious monthly prestige plus 5%. Fascinating call for my antiquarian. If we could increase his learning. No, 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 no. I'll add it to my collection. We're certain it's unique in the world. Long lost vault of knowledge, a true treasure. It's a memoir from the world's creation. My business here is done. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining. For being in my court today. Okay, let's bring our siege army back to try and siege some more. That was embarrassing. I fully admit. That was deeply embarrassing. <laughs> it should never have been this close. He shouldn't have won this. The very first battle already was... Was an atrocity. Someone else struggles. We're happy. Schadenfreude on display. Like, ha ha, you're bad at things too. Ah yes, bring him in. Show him into the court. Alliance expired. The alliance formed. I think that is the exact... No, it's not the exact same. Groom to rule. Increase the learning by three. Oof. That is big. That is big. How do we have groom to rule? Child of the dynasty. I don't care. Grow strong and wise and everything, but do it on your own time. Don't don't bother we bother me with such details, please. Just do it. You know how to do it. You don't need me. Pull yourselves up by your bootstraps. Why do you still hate us so much? Aren't you my spy mistress? Danush is right in the matter. Abbas raised a good point. Hmm. Let's just have them settle it themselves. I don't want any of those. I don't I don't want either. They need to settle it among themselves. The coward's way out. Okay, so these guys need to be split. So we can reinforce their supplies. And they're just gonna wait right where they are. Uh let's go. Gained artifact claim. How dare you. How dare you get claims on things. And stuff. We'll lose their personal claim. We'll become the owner of... What? You want to get... Wait, what? I have gained a claim on it and he's gifting it to me. Thank you. Wasn't that already mine? I feel like it was already mine. It was taken from us in succession. So now it's back where it belongs in our court. Our great-great-grandfather got this on the voyage he died on. What do you want? Go away. You get nothing. How kind of him to just gift it to us. <gasps> oh, we're finally in the plus again, despite having our troops raised. Things are looking up. So we can't upgrade our castle. We need the battlements. So burrs or battlements is next. Burrs is a little bit closer than battlements. So I think burrs after our household soldiers. Yeah, we do need battlements anyway. It is very true, but... I mean, men at arms maintenance minus 5%. I'm all about that kind of passive income. By reducing our outflow. Hello, anyone here would like to have a alliance? No? No one? 
Would you like a marriage with my cousin? And it's matrilineal. Will not result in an alliance. Well, then I keep my cousin. Come on. Ah, too weak to send an ultimatum. I'm waiting. We, we haven't had the rebellion in a while. To get the keep for the stuff to even be upgraded. It's true. So battlements first after we get the household thing. The god thing. By the way, let's make sure all of these are at full strength because they are currently not. We can have more horses. Let's have more horses. And now we've done all this. These guys are not resupplying. Let's move them to somewhere they can resupply. So they resupply and then they move on. It's my siege army. So they get the siege boy. And then we're going to go south a little bit more. Or we're going to have to defend against these fools. I feel like they might try to go encroach on our stuff. Oh, look at that. So we were uh, deciding on scholar already. We want this. Cultural fascination progress. It's not even a question. Scientific, let's go. We want them. Demand artifact. Um, how about nay? Yeah, okay, we have to fight these these dunderheads. Let's put a good one in. Let's pull these together here. Fetch my coin purse. Owner of the Maharani Chandravati's dagger. We do not have a weapon yet, I think. Now we do. We have the spear. Maharani Chandravati's dagger. We could be bamboozled here right now. But it could also work out. Can I see... What? I can't recruit him. I can only give him money. I can't recruit him. So, shall we get duped? Or get something really cool? Is it gonna go either one of these ways? Is we gonna get fooled or are we gonna get something really cool out of it? I think we're gonna go for this and just be sad about what we just got <laughs> because this is horrible <laughs> oh no that's so bad i mean it's not even that bad but okay let's let's reforge that thing at least let's throw it reforged is actually a little bit better than what it is right now it's not much but it's a little bit Let's reforge that thing. Put it into our court. It's definitely not worth the money we paid for. That much is sure. Yeah, courtier and guest opinion is pretty decent. But apart from that, it's quite horrible. Everyone is looking to get stuff from us. I'm not a fan. Okay, is this army in the south going to be fine? I sure hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're good. They're good. They're dealing with it. Brother, what do you think? Do you think I'm just going to let you move on? Okay, we're done with this anyway. Alrighty. Title time. You know what that means. We're going to check what... 
what duchy this is, and we're gonna create the title because we want this clean. We want this clean. 250 is fine. With what we're earning, that is fine. Let's put him to recruit our commanders. We'll improve them. And now we're gonna check our little children. And we're gonna give our son and board all this. Like, just all of that, basically. Including the title. He just gets it all. He's an absolute winner in life. Now let's negotiate that alliance here. Okay. Um, another thing I wanted to check out, because we haven't ever done it, is the vizier position. I don't think it's actually really good or anything, but... Who can we get? Who can we make our vizier? Oh, power! We can give it to anyone, really. So, who will help administrate your realm and provide tax collector benefits? How? What? Am I appointing a vizier with my daughter? What? It's not the most eligible candidate. If you do not select GIF. Okay, GIF. Okay, so this guy. This guy. The search will grant you plus two extra tax jurisdictions. Okay. As a chief minister. Like. I know there's more about viziership. There. A vizier is a type of diarch. A clan rulers may voluntarily appoint to help bolster their income. They have less to borrowed powers, but can be very difficult to remove. Viziers grant their liege bonus tax jurisdiction scaling to their skewership and increase aptitude of tax collectors during according to how much scales of power affording them. Crucially, lieges can drain viziers of the gold via the mulched vizier interaction. You should marry him off to a young lady. <laughs> Ahsoka, you seem to be very obsessed about getting everyone breeding here. Um, but I will I will try. They might not be up for that kind of stuff. But we'll see. Oh, 16 year old. Let's go with that. Let's make it real creepy. Okay. So, Kharat. Okay, you are fighting everyone internally, but you are quite independent. We can't go because our level of fame is less than illustrious. But we do have a du jour claim on the Shadow of Herat as it is. So we're just going to go push that because he's entirely alone and we are very much not. So we're just going to take advantage of his current situation. Okay, let's see. I don't want all of these. Like one army, we're just gonna stand down. And then we're gonna raise men at arms here. So we don't raise everyone, but we raise all of our men at arms. So we won't have 10,000 troops in the end, we're gonna have less. Come now, she's no trouble. Our cat can stay. Go away. How dare you say anything about our cat. Okay, so this guy here... Ah, uh, you know what? He's just gonna get the best leader in the house. And this army is gonna get the second best leader in the house. Uh, we're just gonna go push in here. And see what happens. Make the best of it. As long as we destroy all the armies that are in this in this war, it shouldn't be resolved before we're done here. Or even if it resolves, it really doesn't matter much. 
but we are slowly eating eastwards. Got a new sun? Was that what that was? <laughs> I don't even notice anymore. We have so many of these. Honestly, we'll serve you best in the long run, child. What are we trying to make you? Deceitful? Nah. Humble? Nah. Ah, let's just keep him honest. It's fine. Okay, you say we have a new son? I see none. Are you quite certain? I see no son. Well, I don't think it was a son. I think it was just a member of a child of the dynasty or something like that. Like another child of the dynasty, a niece or something. A new artifact. Oh, a mysterious lamp. A shining golden lamp encrusted with jewels. You feel a sense of phenomenal cosmic power when we hold it. My, my. And it's just a pile of gold. It's literally just a pile of gold here. Well, that is disappointing. They can't put an Aladdin reference in here and then just make it a pile of gold. That saddens me. <laughs> is there anything interesting here? Count Leon is just... I don't know, let's... Let's let's be... Let, let's... Let's not try and gouge him for every single cent he has. Let's just give him a little bit of a leeway. He can go for, for less than he's worth. He's a child. Like, look at that boy. Oh, look, a valuable prisoner uh, captured. Let's go just fight these immediately. That's a 50% because we have the air captured. Always nice. Should we scold them? Yeah, let's scold them. Everyone is kind of happy if they're getting scolded. Not sure why, but there's people who are into that. <laughs> so we're just gonna go with that. Can ransom Farouk? No. I think Farouk is that guy, isn't he? Why can't I tell? Uh, request divorce declined. House unity is important. We must stop the villain behind this. Should we, by the way? Okay, let's let's pick and let's find some secrets in our court. Let's see if we can't find the one who uh, killed our father. Let's go find some secrets at home. Let's see what's going on here. Well, that's that, I should say. So this guy is now our ally, our vassal. Well, not our ally, but he's definitely our vassal. Let's demand some converting here. Full. And we have some more border regions that we might take care of. What's up with this guy? Can just de jure seeds this for cheap or for a little bit more expensive, but all of it at once. They are top emirate. And, uh, I mean, he has a lot of allies, but it all in all, it only accounts for 5,000 soldiers, so. Plus, these are actually, these are my vassals to a good degree, so. They're not gonna help him. They're not gonna do nothing. So let's go take care of this thing. Do we have a flag somewhere here? No, we don't have a flag close to our to our head quarters. It's crazy. Okay, let me let me station these before we raise. So our pike is stationed where they should be stationed. Our horses are stationed where they should be stationed. We have another bit of pike. But it doesn't matter where they go. All the same to them. 
Any bonuses for these guys? Nope. Any bonuses for our archers somewhere? Okay, yeah, our archers get most here. And for the other two, it doesn't matter, so we're just gonna put them somewhere. Nope, we're gonna put them here because they actually get a little bit more there. Did I get these? Because I feel like we inherited these guys. I feel like we inherited these guys. I didn't create these. Not that I'm mad about them, but we didn't make those. Uh, bless Biala, a conversion as... Oh, we should actually start raising our troops. Maybe not just put a flag. And we're going to raise all again, and we're going to destroy one of them. And then we're going to go ahead and click raise all men at arms. So we get about half of our troops overall. Or two thirds. Like, we don't need everyone. We're just going to walk on top of him. 170 gold household savings. Well done, my wife. Now we have a son. Ali Muammar. He's going to be a little Muammar. And he is beautiful. There's so many beautiful people out here. It's crazy. Okay, so another son. And we're going to go for a diplomat on this one. Let's find him. Age difference a little bit closer. And see what we got. Alliance power, maybe. Or we just... Oh, there we go. Intelligent. That's fine. Oh, where are you going? Which one of these armies has my siege weapons? The other one. So this army is just going to go there. And the other army is just going to go hunt down and destroy the enemy. Got our Azawira. You learn of Shah Abbas's murder secret. And he murdered someone but not our father. Okay. So we learned that but it doesn't really help us much. Sadly. Uh, learning. Nah, diplomacy is fine. For our boy. Nickname, the handsome. My liege, have you heard what they call you? They call you... Shashad... Shashansha... Wished up the handsome. Spectacular, is it not? I wish there could be more with these, you know? Ah, uh, yes, we kind of destroyed them a little bit there. That was... That wasn't good for them. Let's just put it mildly. Just... I mean, our... 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 Archers, our horse archers here killed 327, lost 4. Bit of a problem. Well, I suppose I'm not a favorite. Cat rejection for five years. I mean, cat has its own ideas about things and stuff. So what do you want to make? A geometric tapestry. Merely decent. Now. We're not sponsoring that nonsense. So what do we have? 32 months and you can do something, huh? In 32 months? Well, am I not impressed by you guys? I swear, I should talk them and then I get destroyed. Ah, oh, look at that. How unfortunate you sat in your little castle there. So, let's see. The Atab can't usurp it. Because we only have three... Uh, no. Three out of four required. Ah. Ah, okay, the rest is in there. Alrighty, okay. So who do we give this to? You are not entitled to any of that, so we're just gonna give it to our main heir. 
<laughs> Why not? And we can later redistribute. Okay. This thing we can't attack because we are... Wait, why can't we attack it? Are we just a truce? Yeah, truce breaking. Your one son could use some land. Our one son is fine. He's gonna inherit it once we die. That's how this goes. Okay, let's check ourselves. I think I have too many duchies. No, I don't. It's all good. We have about the right amount of duchies. So he's still struggling with this little internal struggle. But he's winning. So well done, you. <laughs> okay, these guys we have a truce with. These guys we have an alliance with and I'm not looking to go there. Oh, look at that. Look at what we did to the Byzantine Empire. <laughs> Should we expand a little bit? But we're losing, like... We're losing hard on our prestige. We're spending it left and right. What about Armenia? I mean... It's not much left there. I mean, there's almost nothing left. And we can't even get anything good out of it. Like... Just do a war for a county. Okay. We're gonna take the one that doesn't share another border with the... With the Khazars. I'm gonna do that. Let's see if the apostolic rulers join him. And we're gonna kill all of these. Except for one. Yep. That's what I meant with let's see if anyone comes help him. Why did I raise down here? Let them pray to Allah. Because they actually found something they can siege. That is very cute. And I think uh, that's it for today on the YouTube end of things. So if you're watching over on YouTube, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, down in the comments you go. If you want to join us, chat while we play, come join us on Twitch at some point. Would love to have you. And if you're over on Twitch, then let's keep going for a little while longer.